the rest of the team is laying it behind him. Uh, but I think every team actually has that kind of kind of a tell. Navi as well. Whenever they do that A strat on cobble with Guardian, etc., setting up the smokes, the Seize is always above drop room. But that said, we are jumping into the pistol round now, finally. And we'll have a, a bit of a, an alley push coming out from Fnatic, splitting onto Yard as well. And it looks like they want to finish onto that A bomb site. But Titan have everybody in position here, ready to get the frags. And RPK, really nice angles behind this bomb train. And so far, so good here, holding down the bomb train at the very least. But RPK, still alive. Pushing out into an E-Box. It's going to find itself two players. The bomb as well. RPK is doing so much work for Titan at the moment. Just Flusher and JW left. And they have lost the bomb. This is a dire situation. And Titan will completely shut that down. Oh, that looked horrible for Titan at the beginning. A f yeah, fairly fairly straightforward push from uh, from Fnatic with four people in alley and then having the one guy in pop. Uh, freaking is a diversion. They sent Shocks and Existence down to 2 and 1 HP respectively within seconds of the round, and then RPK is able to you know, sneak his way forward as just pretty much RPK winning the round and saving saving Titan's bacon because that should have given Fnatic enough space to to get a bomb plant down. Yeah, really bold stuff there from RPK taking charge of the situation. Yeah, especially if he goes down in that situation as well, then you have we have one guy stuck behind bomb train and <laughs> another guy around alley that can't really do all that much. And now this is going to get worse for Fnatic even still because before they can even push into the bomb site through the choke points, they, their numbers will be thinned. Pronex will go down. Existence will take down the second player as well. Crims will fall. And all of, so all of a sudden, things looking very bad for Fnatic. JW, though, is able to push out onto the site. And Olofmeister gets himself a window of opportunity to abuse as well. And all of a sudden, it's a three on three. And that, yeah. that bomb, though, is kind yeah, of far away. Bomb has dropped. And Scream hasn't shown himself as of right now. So he can still play this. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Picks up all of Meister, so he's this business is going to be known. RPK picks up JW as well, and it's flush alone. No bomb as well, so not a lot to accomplish for Fnatic right here in this round. Actually, a pretty well. Okay, I say that I was about to say a pretty failed force spy from their end, but well, RPK is pretty low, so flush could potentially pick up another frag and potentially get a bomb plant here. Yeah, three kills already is actually. Pretty awesome, pretty respectable. If he's, if he's able to actually secure this plant, that is going to be devastating for Titan. They're going to have all kinds of pressure coming their way. Flush is actually looking for an engagement quickly as he'll go down to drop for the bomb plant there. And now comes Titan with two players. Again, RPK very low. If Flusher finds him quickly, he could very well win this round with that Tech 9. He's going for the peak cell, spot the first player, and that's it. Scream will take the frag. Very important, uh, important frag for Scream to find before RPK could have the possibility to go down. And bomb plant, three kills. Fnatic yeah. are loving this. Uh, all of a sudden, have a very decent force spy from Fnatic. If Flusher doesn't get that third kill, then he won't have the opportunity to probably get the bomb plant down because Titan, obviously, knowing that RPK is in low HP, don't want to risk it too heavily. They want to kind of stick close together. They have to commit towards one bomb site, and that allows Flusher to get the space to get that bomb plant on inner. Well, not surprisingly, not a full buy or anything like that from Fnatic just yet. That's going to be coming up in the next round. And, uh, well, seems like they're setting up with quite a few smokes here, so they they might just be looking for a bomb plant here, but Titan are playing pretty aggressively out in the yard. We might even see two orbs in the next round for Fnatic. I've got a feeling they want to get the orbs in there. But uh, I do like this forward play from Titan. He's got existence there. He's got support from Scream, as you're saying. The existence-Scream combination is uh, appearing to actually come into play here on trade. Otherwise, they're going to die through the smoke, find himself a headshot, and we'll get trades all over the place here. This is not good news for Titan, losing two players, losing anybody at all, considering how much damage Fnatic have done in previous rounds. And they will get themselves a big buy now. Potentially, they could have two ops if they want to, but I'm sure it'll just be J. Oh, no, in fact, they're going to go with no ops. Okay, just four grenades and yeah. have a bit of money in the... In the the bank as well. Well, with the meta we've seen, so quick paced rounds, maybe you just want to get out into yard and, and take the, the gunfights as quickly as possible. Or if you want to push towards inner, very hard to get an opt into a position where you can actually be useful early on. But as of right now, Fnatic opting to take it fairly slow, pushing two people towards that inner bomb site. So they're on black walls right now. And uh, well, it's going to be a, a t touchy feely game from Fnatic. They just want to get a good idea of what Fnatic or uh, Titan are doing. And Titan playing similarly to what they did in the Eco here, playing aggressively up by Electric Fox, and just like that, Titan picking up three frags, only giving up Scream there in that exchange. And well, no nades for Fnatic to work with either, so they're going to heavily rely on their aim here. RPK 
Perfect positioning, and that's going to be that. The round closed out just like that. Really awesome stuff out in the yard there. That, that forward play is really important, and you can see exactly why. Problem is, though, it, is, it can be a bit of a double-edged double sword, because if one of the players goes down towards Pop Dog or Team Main, if, if you are playing close to those positions, the guy that's, uh, you that can goes sort, down, yeah. he com makes the other guy so vulnerable. And oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's the problem. That's the main con of that play. Yeah, and there's no way the guy playing solely in alley is going to be able to hold hold back the entire Fnatic team pushing out on that. So, yeah, you more or less could win the r entire round with two quick kills, or you can just instantly lose out. And well, aggression again coming in from Titan. This is a force fight from Fnatic as well. So catching Olaf Meister off guard, and that's a big kill as well. And Fnatic opting to play it slowly as well. They're going to have less to work with now. And Titan are just clearing out that LA area completely, so they have way less areas to work out when or worry about. And there's a kill from Pronax pushing into the A yard. And Smith needs to get something done here with that AWP. Shocks will come in from Ali to pick up a kill onto Pronax. That will make life a bit easier. So things going quite well here for Titan. Just a couple players left for Fnatic. More damage being done. Crims gets two fast headshots with a tech line. Picks up that AWP. And he's looking for that next kill. That final kill. Will he catch RPK off guard? That's what it comes down to at this point. And this is why train A yard can be so hard. You never know where these T's are going to be lurking. And ah, oh, there it is. RPK finds him first. But that can really go either way. But that's so interesting because now we've got the situation where Titan are 5-0 up on the CT side. How, how, how train is working these days, that is a huge deal. To get five to, to seven rounds is a really nice CT half. Oh, absolutely. And it's weird to say that when you're talking about train. <laughs> I know, it's, it's weird, right? Normally they'd be like, yeah, if you can get 12 rounds, then you've done, you know, okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's in how it used to be. Yeah. Days. yeah. Well, yeah. even in Source as well, like, hell, even at the start of CSGO, that was like, yeah, 12 to see, yeah, you've done pretty all right. You got your three rounds on the D side. You've done all you could. The times are a changing. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. And right now, Titan looking pretty strong. They are losing quite a few members, though, every single round. And that's a bit of a worry. But as long as they're able to eke out rounds. Right, as long as, as, long as you can close. That's, yeah, that's actually that's the, the thing, big thing. Yeah. But they're going to potentially have a big issue as soon as they lose that first round. That might send them into a downward spiral where Fnatic are able to build some momentum. And all of a sudden, we could be looking at uh, a pretty okay half for, uh, for, for uh, on Fnatic's end. And that's also the justification for their their buying their kind of force up in the previous round. They're like, guys, we, we we have been doing so much economic damage. We've been killing pl like so many players every time. We get the force buy in now, and uh, just win here. We'll force them to ecos, and then boom, we yeah. will crush them. But it was <laughs> not to be. The five zero is very real, and Titan are starting to build an economy. So Fnatic, there's actually a lot of pressure on them to start winning rounds right now because, like for example, if G if G two could just say like if, if for G two if they could always get five rounds on their CT side of train they would win their every single train game yeah. against every team in the world because they are their T-sides are ridiculous because of the, how the, the current meta is. It suits <laughs> them so well. well. And speaking of the current meta, we haven't really seen Fnatic play that fast-paced up till this point. So I'm expecting this to, to change if they can't find any luck with playing, well, rather slowly. Because they're having issues with these aggressive setups that Titan are doing. And again, you can see Screaming Existence doing the same thing all over again. This too, with, with Smith here with close support, very, very far forward with uh, four players are Titan. Kind of abandoning Ali, but that's also playing into the meta, because you don't get much Ali pressure with things as they are. But having just that one guy, that might be all you need. <laughs> it kind of reminds you on, uh, of uh, how Fnatic plays it on Cobblestone, with Olaf kind of just being the sole warrior towards uh, the end of the map. Picking up that up. And that creates a lot of space. You can see how open and vulnerable the two players in, in Titan are. And I love this decision from Titan pushing into aggressively in pop. Yeah, this looks like it could be a very explosive and pretty effective round here for Fnatic with this push. They are going to make their way into the yard now. As you can see, they have abused the rotation from Titan. But that said, Existence will still find the kill onto Flusher. Scream is going to keep things going for his team towards the A-bomb train as well. So Fnatic, they've pushed with two players, but they've not gained any space. And Smith is going to get more, more than enough space of, of his own to actually work with there. Picks up the kill onto JW. Olaf Meister goes close. He gets tagged down to 3 HP. And it, wow, Titan survived with four players after losing shot at Ali, that is amazing. Yeah, and I think it's largely because of the the adaption that Titan makes. As soon as they realize that they were way too open from from Ali, they can come from back Ali, they can come out from six train, they can basically mess us up in every which possible way they want to, and they can sandwich us without us being able to reply at all. Having existence pushed into pop, picking up that frag on flush out just slows everything down from Fnatic. Scream is able to get enough time to get back to the bomb chain, and from there on out. Just picking people off. 
Man, there's so many people, I think, I think myself included, you just want to see Titan do well. You, every, yeah. Everybody knows. I'm one of those. We, we all know. Like, just look at them. <laughs> look at their lineup. These guys, they can play some excellent Counter-Strike. And Actually, that said, I thought this round would, would have been a little bit of a shutout here, but Fnatic have found a way back in. Crim's picking up a kill and JW doing quite a good job there. It will get finished off in the end. And uh, but that's not so scary for Titan. After all, they've they've had a, a two couple, uh, two rounds rather that have been fairly clean. Yeah. And if, if you if you consider all the rounds previous to that, it's uh, it's like night and day. So Titan is starting to find their pace. So this round finally will not really shake them as the previous ones did, and they'll find some more comfort going forwards with double orb apparently. Yeah. They've also been kind of lucky with who have died at what time. So RPK hasn't died, for instance, so he's been just been a piggy bank for existence who's been dying the most out of ev everyone. So it hasn't really affected their economy too much overall. And you can see now Scream being the one dropping that previous, uh, previous round. Ooh. Random aggression coming in from Titan. I think that's slightly unnecessary. What you've been doing so far has been working, so yes. no real reason for you to change it up. If it ain't broke, don't e fix it. Exactly. And, well, that's going to give Fnatic a, a much-wanted opening frag here. They did get one in uh, a couple of rounds ago with Olaf Meister picking off Shoxi and right now we're seeing some aggression coming from the CDs on Alley as well. Maybe uh, existence feels like this is justified because they're seven rounds to zero right now they and they have money to buy so they, they feel like okay we can, if we crush them here we basically like win the game. Maybe, yeah, no, maybe yeah. he's feeling it like that or something with this big risk. And uh, well he's putting it down to the individual skill of his teammates and it's just Smith who's left alive after Fnatic system systematically take player down off the player. Smith comes in though. Oh, Ooh. Smith with two fantastic shots now. He's in a one-on-one -on -one against JW. He's going to go for the hold, I think. He's in the smoke. JW is nowhere near. And Smith is going to clutch the round. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. Titan. Oh, that's gorgeous. That yeah. is fantastic. Right now, Titan can do no wrong. They give away the opening frag. They get trades that... Obviously, the Smiths pick off on... on uh, in in Black Walls. French it's, it's, obviously, it's obviously going to be, be good for them, but they lose out, or they get an even trade with the guys pushing against the Ali, and it creates so much space for Fnatic at that point. Uh, the, the double ops is actually a good response, too, to what you would expect these days, which is, it's not, well, no, no smoke executes. We don't see that Yeah, anymore. exactly, so, so, so much open sense. space for you. Don't do it, man. Don't do that against Shocks, man. No. <laughs> not a good idea. All right, now... I'm actually so surprised that we've seen Fnatic play so slow pace. I, I mean, it's sure it's fine that you're not doing execution, smoke executions, and whatnot, but you're really not putting too much pressure on Titan early on to the point where Titan are able to set up in really, really solid crossfires and and have these kind of dual attacks, especially what we've seen with Scream in existence, and even the aggressive pushes in Alley as well. You're allowing Titan to to do so much on their own terms, that it's going to be really hard for you to play against. Right now, you can see just Fnatic players falling like flies, and RPK is having a great game right now. Yeah, it really is. Existence too. I mean, everything seems to be working quite well here for Titan. 9-0 on the CT side is something that you don't see almost at all at the moment in top-level Counter-Strike. It's very rare, very seldom that you'll see a scoreline yeah. like this. Um, and Fnatic, you know, they're they're one of the teams that are the, are the best at playing the the current style, which is getting your your skilled players in there and just outskilling your opponents on these open open angels on yard in the chaos of it all. Mm. But it's double up setup from Titan. It's responding well so far to Fnatic's aggression. And uh, when is when will oh, <laughs> Fnatic actually win around? There we go. The final <laughs> first time we see Olaf Master getting uh, needed out into and towards that inside of the six train. And here's where he can work his magic. So Existence is uh, up here alone actually, but looks like he's going to get a kill out of it. That's kind of nice considering he had no support. However, more frags coming the way of Fnatic right now. Four in a row, leaving Smith alone. And he clutched before one versus three. I don't know if that it's going to happen again here. This is very, very difficult. He'll miss the first shot. And if you're going to clutch around like this, you, you can't afford to miss a single one. So he's going to realize this back away out of these choke points that could have been dangerous to push through. And uh, well, I mean, they're not even really that concerned on money. R right now, it's, it's just... You couldn't be more carefree, I think, if you were Titan. Like, you have nine rounds already. Like, you don't give yeah. a damn. Like, you don't even give it. Give, like, if, the, if Fnatic gets six in a row, you're still fine with this. Oh, yeah. No, no, this is definitely a successful CT half for you if you're Titan. And, well, if you're anyone, really. And I'm, I'm kind of curious to see, knowing that they can put Fnatic in a really awkward situation here with winning the upcoming round.
Especially with Fnatic throwing away so many players here to to take down Smith, which really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Oh yeah, given their money, uh, I I'm, I'm surprised to see what Titan decide to do if they're actually gonna opt to uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the the ghetto game once the the game is crashed. Yeah, the restream <laughs> essentially. <laughs> nice. No, but yeah, if if Titan are gonna play aggressively in that upcoming round to just. Like you said uh, earlier, when existence pushed to go through and pop, if they're going to try to stick it to Fnatic and basically break them completely and win the game then and there. Yeah, th that's how it feels to me, like a move like that. Because I, when you're playing against uh, the really, really, really top teams, I feel like you want to try to get ahead of any ad adaptation that they can make. I think if you have a buffer like that, you can actually oh, yeah. justify that pretty well. Uh, because if you're playing against, uh, let's say, any team that's not in the top eight, I, th I think if you just play the basics, just keep it strong, Really good fundamentals. You you exploit their their mistakes, and yeah. just, that's how you win that games. That should work. Yeah. But against against like Fnatic, you know, you, you actually expect. Okay, we need to do something extra. We need to go to the extra mile to actually defeat this team. We can't just rely on them making mis uh, uh, more making mistakes, mistakes than us. Yeah, and I, I think uh, they they've done a <laughs> obviously they've done a pretty good job so far. Uh, the one round they did push aggressively and, and eventually ended up winning because <laughs> because of Smith's yeah. crazy stuff, right? Uh, I, I think it's okay, like. You do that extra mile move once you've figured out that Fnatic are trying different things. Yeah, there Up you go. Up to that point, Fnatic hadn't really done too much different. And, uh, well, we're back in the game. So, 10 to 1 being the score in favor of Titan. And, well, our bet's looking pretty good right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's very true. Yeah, we made a good call there. Obviously, we knew. <laughs> We well, this coming from a mile away. You, we always expect it. Fine on, on again on paper, a lineup that you kind of expect to do big things. You don't almost ever see it, but you know that they can. That's yeah. that's the the They're pain. the ultimate teaser team. Yeah, they are because they should yeah. and they could. Just like the old Hellraiser lineups. Yeah, that that is just like they can beat anybody. They're, they're just there to ruin the these tournaments. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's all they're there for. It's kind of it's kind of annoying, really. It's like. <laughs> Hellraiser's just playing amazing in the group stages, winning the group. Now, like, oh, it's finally happened. They're going to do it. Go out in quarters instantly. Yep. Just get Shut absolutely away. mauled. No, it, uh, yeah. Uh, well, Titan haven't really taken it that far either. They just kind of drop out in group stages, which is sad. But right now, Titan looking pretty good. I mean, they have been boot camping. So, uh, yep. high yep. spirits all around, I would assume. I, I think you can definitely, like, people can learn to exploit what they are doing. Of course, because... They just need the to have more strings to their bow than just existence scream. Yeah. Playing four is on the odd. But this is a very good base for what you're doing. But finally, if not to get a f uh, favorable trader, it's a one. There you go. And the pace there ruined Smith. He had no idea which way to look and when. And Shox couldn't get into position to support him quickly enough and was too worried about Ali. And that, that fast, that high octane chaos on yard, that is what completely crippled Titan here. And RPK, again. <laughs> it's just a situation where, you, I mean, you're not even thinking about damaging. I mean, the best thing for for him would be for him to get kills, actually, yeah. because time will always be able to buy, really. Uh, maybe can uh, Fnatic, if they keep winning rounds, can maybe squeeze out an eco. But, yeah. I mean, would you, would you want RPK to go aggressive? We can check the money real quick just to get a good picture of it. Yeah, actually, no, like RPK is the one guy getting screwed in this situation. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's because he's been to the drop bot. You can see he's only died three times. Existence died 10. So I think he's the main culprit for uh, for RPK's weak economy. Uh, so for sure, if there's been one of the guys who was dead, who had $500, you had 3-2, something like that, then you could go for a couple of kills. But Whoa, getting a lot of crashing uh, here today. It's back to the ghetto stream. Yeah. No, but yeah, no, I think it's uh, it's uh, definitely doable, but I think they just want to get a proper buy up. And uh, it's like you said, they've already won the half. They were already on an excellent CT side, but I think existence, instead of being content with that, he's going to be the screaming and kicking about getting that 12th round. And yeah. So uh, obviously you can you can go any which way and both are acceptable. There's definitely heat value behind both uh, both uh, potential ways of going. And with Fnatic, you never take anything for granted. You can never take anything for oh, granted. Oh, absolutely. Whether yeah. you're playing them and they only have Glocks, or you're playing them and you've got a 12 uh, rounds advantage. It's, yeah, it's some it is of Fnatic. Some of their best rounds so far have been four spies with pistols. Exactly, yeah. They yeah, are yeah. just incredibly skilled. Yeah. It's, it's same thing with Envy. I was just going to yeah. say exactly <laughs> the same thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like Envy, never take them for granted on, pistol, on, any, on any round. Yeah, it's basically like playing versus a team with weapons mm. 15 rounds in a row. 
which must be really frustrating because you're feeling like you're oh we're breaking them down slowly bit by bit but they always find kevlar pistols like it's always an option there and yeah you can never feel safe but it's, it's pretty amazing actually uh watching envious now as well because they they've got all these new toys to work with essentially as well i mean yeah, yeah. with kenny and apex exactly like the skill is on the team is is arg arguably higher, because, higher it's yeah. because it's also weird, weird how the skill is actually distributed as well because you've got before when you had uh you know you had shocks in there as well like yeah. shocks is great yeah but you want maybe a higher skilled orper than smith or something yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I'm like well before in the old lineups, it was like this, this. Well, I guess we're off camera now, so <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't really. Well, this and this, obviously, you know what I mean, right? Yeah. We can go back to that point later. We're back into this one, guys. Last round of the first half. Titan with a very dominant showing, finally forced to an eco. Took, took Fnatic long enough to get them there. <laughs> took 15 rounds. But so uh, here it is. And Scream does have an AK. And it's 4 and 4 here right now as well. So I have to see whether or not uh, Fnatic can get another pick. They, they want to play this really safe. Yeah, understandably, they need every round they can get at this point. And uh, Titan, they seem to be happy about the fact they got a an okay trade on that inner bomb site, so they just kind of left everyone to their own devices. They're actually surprised to see them rotate towards inner here. At this point, you're you're playing at such a deficit in terms oh of no. weapons that oh, that's the bomb. Oh no, that's bad, and and that's the AK for existence as well. He's got some Kevlar too. He's got a flashbang. He's gonna pop flash himself out, and s oh, the distraction for Smith. This is. A recipe for disaster. Smith is going to get the backstab. There it is, the frag and the AK. Oh my god, it's Olaf Meister now. He has to kill three players. He's got the first one. And he does have some time to work with. 30 seconds. Rotation though, already in for Titan. Yeah, Scream as well, I believe. And he's got that AK. He is below. And this is a nasty angle. Olaf's going to have to peer all the way over and look directly down to spot him. And Smith is going to be coming in as well. And this is very smart from Olaf Meister, using all of the time here. But he is going to have to plant almost immediately. He will find an engagement. The screen's going to tap his head off. Wow, that was ridiculous. That was the, the one thing, the one way you lose that round is dropping the bomb in Pop Dog. That's like the one <laughs> way that you lose that round. And that's exactly what happened. It's like, well, you, uh, yeah, well, you have that saying, right? Yeah. And in a certain situation, you have to think of I think you even Thor Thorin's like quoting, quoting that now yeah, as well. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he did I that. Getting some credit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, what's the one possible way that yeah. I, can, I can lose this round from here on and out? This, this is like a... Th I think this thing... I learned this in StarCraft, actually, from, from somebody. And, uh, you know, because in StarCraft, it's even more pronounced. Because you, oh in yeah. StarCraft, you get, can get some leads where it's like, there is only one way. Like, what is the one thing that can happen? I just need to think about that. Yeah. Prepare for that. Well, second pistol is on the way, and... Well, Titan already pushing out into Yard. Phronix gonna start off with a kill on Choxy, but Smith returns onto Phronix as well, and their RPK pops up from Pop Dog, and Scream follows up with the aggression from Ali, and all of a sudden, all of Fnatic are gone. All It's all down to Flesha, and they have to win this pistol. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is just brutal. Fnatic are getting thrown now, into like a the, washing the, machine. Yeah, no, this, they've been taken for a ride. Like, this is just like the Titan snowball. Turn into an avalanche. Like, uh, <laughs> well, I, you know, judging from the odds prior to the game, you would have believed that the 92% or whatever it was would Dude. have been on Titan. <laughs> we should have gone all in. I, I, said, so. I said so. Yeah, we, we yeah. can blame James <laughs> for that, right? Or yeah. should we just blame Reese? Okay, pretty serious. I think can take the blame. He, he can handle it. He can <laughs> handle it. Okay, three Mac 10s. I like it. I like it. And they go, I like this anti anti force fire as well from uh, Titan so far. They're all moving in together with those mag tens. And uh, well, okay, that said, these 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 kills are still coming in. These CZs of Fnatic. In goes Existence though with the spray down. And Existence was a player we did, uh, or you you actually wanted to go for for our alpha draft pick. And he's been doing quite well, I would say, so far for Titan. He's been a, a key player. And we'll, to, we'll see the bomb get planted as well. So Fnatic's flusher is left alone in this impossible. Si this is this is. Completely impossible. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, it's <laughs> completely no, impossible. No kit, no armor. Has a mag seven. <laughs> it's like, and he, and he has to go out into yard. It's like, yeah, that's the hardest site. That is the hardest site of, uh, of the entire game. I would you say. Just, for replay. Yeah, yeah. You just hit yourself. There's so many angles you have to check. There's so much long range distances as well. Yeah. So you know if you don't have the proper weaponry, you're probably screwed regardless. And then like, like some some bomb sites, and this one, you you can't even take take it for granted that you've cleared spots because people can move around the trains. Oh so yeah, you yeah. always have to be like 360 degrees, like concerned with 360 degrees. Always. Oh it's, yeah. it's horrendous. It's, oh. like my, it's like my worst nightmare. <laughs> oh my god. We've got crash number three, I think. Alright guys, this is, this is going, it's going rather well. It's going rather well. I mean, yeah. CS is... It's fine. 
CS is having a rough time. Same thing with Fnatic. Yeah, Fnatic. Uh, yeah, maybe that's what's happening right now. CS is like Fnatic losing like this. What? <laughs> oh, crash. I can't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just tiny just breaking, breaking all the variables of the game yeah. and creating something new. Yeah. No. And so uh, Fnatic, <laughs> they don't want to go for ties, so they're gonna have to force up again. Flesh out. I think ended up finally saving the Mag Seven. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, I guess it's more of a golf clap for that one, but. We'll see what it, what he's going to be able to do with that. I think he's going to have to play. Obviously, he's going to have to play close up. Whether that's yeah. inside a pop, aggressively in uh, in the lower on inner bomb side, that type yep. of thing remains to be seen. But right now, I I don't really see that many chances for Fnatic to making it back. No, they're they're getting kind of wrecked at the moment, yeah. which is quite fun to to see <laughs> from Titan. Hey, hey, it's Titan, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, it's first time. I was like, it was shot and fury. They're just like, haha, Fnatic are losing. They're just like. If I if bask in the glory of Fnatic fanboys' tears, like that type, <laughs> of, that type of thing. Or <laughs> no, but yeah, obviously I, I agree with you there. It's really, really fun to see Titan playing well. When and they, they when they well. win, it feels like Christmas. Yeah, it really does. Christmas come early. Yeah, it's birthday and Christmas all mashed together. Oh yeah, um, it's quite interesting actually. That, the, the match after this, which I imagine will probably stop fairly promptly. I'm not sure what time it is now actually, but but by the way, the next one is actually Envious and IP, and I'm saying this because I think this one's kind of over. Yeah, kind I, of. I, over I, I don't think anyone would <laughs> we'll, we'll blame see, me for we'll saying see. that at this point. Yeah. It feels fair enough to say it's what fourteen. Yeah, fourteen to three. Let's go back to the game now. So we apologize for the oh, yeah, technical four, issues. Okay. okay, fourteen to four. So and we'll do our utmost to try to make sure this doesn't happen again. This is kind of weird. Anyway, so I would assume that Fnatic actually won that round since we've got Tech Nines on Titan. So that 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 saved Mag Seven from Plusha. Th did yeah. all it had to do. Oh yeah. Love love me a Mag. Oh yeah. Well, and uh, lots of nades on on Titan still. So opting to go with heavy nades instead of getting an AK or or a Galil in that sense. So probably gonna see given how they're set up, a smoke execute with a Molotov across the lane or maybe uh, between the sandwich area between the bomb plant and uh, the second train. Okay, now I'm looking to see how they're going to shut down Connector as well. It's a big deal. Also, though, we've got uh, I believe this Flusher close to the Max 7. Oh my god, they're going down immediately there on the bomb site. And Titan have themselves a great situation on the post plant. It's just Olaf and Pronax left. They're in the yard. But Titan have players all over the place. Pronax will find a quick one through the smoker. He's going to get himself a second. And it's all on Existence. This is turning so quickly. Existence with the third kill. It's just on Pronax. In game leader versus in game leader. And Existence has a massive health advantage. Pranix goes in for the peak and he'll get the kill as well to save Fnatic. But they lost every single player in that round and the bomb went down. This is still a horrible situation for Fnatic. Yeah, it's not a perfect situation, but when you find yourself down this much, uh, just a round win is is all you can ask for. That that should have been a Titan round. Really, they, they survived with four people. Four versus two. Yeah. I, I think the, the biggest mistake they did was actually that they didn't push their momentum forward. When they mm. get down three people from Fnatic so early on, they have a lot of time. Even though th it's a quick rotation from Fnatic coming into the inner bomb site, they still have time to push forward and get more map control and make the retake so much harder for Fnatic. But, well, well. Fnatic with a bit of a shoddy buy once again. Tech Knight's coming out from uh, Titan, though. Oh, <laughs> love it. I, s I love those close shotgun like headshots. Those are awesome. They feel so good. The brutality. It's, it feels good. It feels good, man. Okay, 14-6. Fnatic uh, start the ascent. A steep the climb. climb. It will be a steep climb indeed. Lots of baguettes on the way. Stale, it's stale baguettes. They're bouldering right now. And with no uh, safety net. Yeah. F was it? Was it called free solo? Free solo. Free solo. Yeah, free solo climb. Climbing. Yeah. Uh, that's what Fnatic are doing right now. We've got an op on Smiths here. And I like that analogy. Yeah, somewhat surprising that they're going to go quickly in here, but worked pretty nicely last time. Smiths is going to get taken out, though, so no luck with that op, but they're going to get a bomb plant down here. They're kind of stuck, though, so yeah. their after bomb position is really awful at this point. There is no way that you can win a round like this. When you th This is, seems like a really weird round to me because you got the situation right. Well, okay, and... I, I, this this is one of my pet peeves about this map mm -hmm. is when when teams uh, throw in the B site push when they have no way in their in their execute to take connector because that's like the big if you want to win the rounds 
that's that's what you need to do. You yeah, need to, you need to stop rotations. people players getting out of connector because once that happens, it's very very likely you'll lose because you've got nowhere to fall back to. Really, you fall back into horrible positions yeah. usually. So you need really to take that. Angles. But it, what it is good for is getting a bomb plant. Sometimes if you just want to get a bomb plant or just put some pressure on their economy for like kind of guaranteed, yeah. that's a good round. But that's the round they needed to win. And now they're giving Fnatic an easy easy in back into the map, economically speaking. Yeah, the, the, you know what you're speak, uh, talking about with uh, the you know getting that safe bomb plant. That's something you would do on an eco round. Exactly. Yeah, that's the weird thing. Not, about not it, a yeah. not a force buy round or yeah. something where you dump all of your cash into. But uh, obviously, I think you know good nades from. From Fnatic did help. Yeah. So they were locked in. They couldn't push forward without being completely in the open. That's a good point. Yeah. There was it was a good defense there from Fnatic as well. Um, would have liked to have seen that yard push. Maybe we'll see it uh, when they have money next. <laughs> can see a scream. <laughs> it's just the teasing. Finally, he's going to go down, and uh, existence don't have much left to work with. And we'll see existence fall finally. So 14-8 now the score, and uh, Fnatic can absolutely win from this position if Titan are not making good calls when they are in positions like we saw there, when they went with that inner play. Yeah. Um, you've got to be careful. The biggest thing for me is that I don't want to see Titan in a bit of a situation where they continuously buy two AKs and three Tech Nines and a lot of smokes. Even though, yeah. sure, it's powerful, but you have so many rounds to play off of that while you have the luxury of, of uh, throwing away around here and there for the better of your economy, then you should do it. You should exactly. That. This, is, this is a threat thing as well. Threat would always say, you know, how how can we get the most buys as, as possible the remaining rounds? That, yeah. That's like that's the situation they're in because they just need to win two rounds. Mm -hmm. So you need to maximize the amount of buy rounds that that is because buy rounds is where you get the biggest percentage chance of yeah. winning the rounds. So, or at least you want to have as many of them as possible. And again, Titan going for that inner push. Here it is. Flush is close. He can absolutely ruin the Titan lineup if he's good. And that's the first kill. They need to take him down. He'll get a second frag up high. And that is going to be fantastic for Fnatic. It's going to buy them a lot of time and space to move in through Connector and get that retake happening. They've got a nice spread of players moving in as this unit. And there's JW onto Scream. RPK. He needs something big. He's the first frag onto Wolfmeister. How much more can he get done from that position? Shock's on the lurk here. Not spotted just yet. That could be the play that secures this one for Titan. Oh, PK is still going at it as well, leaving JW all alone. And what an excellent display of individual skill out of RPK and Shocks to pull that round off. <laughs> that was actually one of the rounds where initially it looked like a super good round for Titan because the rotation was so slow towards that inner bomb site. But yeah. then Flusha picks up those two frags. And by the time Titan actually get the bomb plant down, they, they know all of Fnatic have rotated in. So you would have imagined that, well, if Fnatic are able to win rounds where the rotations aren't as quick, or they're not in place at the right time, then they should definitely win around like that. Yeah, RPK. Was, yeah, RPK just feasting it. Just had to go hero, hero mode in that situation. Oh, leg shot coming in from Smiths, but... Player advantage in favor of Fnatic here. And they do actually have a pretty decent buy here. Actually, full buy. More or less an op on Olaf Meissner, not JW in this situation. The Bombers moves its way towards Ali. That's usually a very committed spot. And Existence goes in for a double. Oh my god, he gets three players straight away. That's phenomenal there from the in-game leader. This guy is definitely a new version. Existence 2.0 as we move into this one. But Pronax is showing that he's got the skills <laughs> as well. Gets three players, just picks them apart. And now it's down to Smith in this one-on-one. -on -one. And he's going to take the bomb through in a... Unbelievable series of frags here from either team. <laughs> anything and, I uh, can do, now anything you can do, I can do better. It's, it's In fantastic. Game version. Oh, and the correct prediction are the Pronax. Oh, those shots missed by Smiths. He'll get another opportunity though. If Pronax will fall back. But how does Smith get his way in here? He's, he can play the bluffing card right now because, of course, he can go pop dog. That's the fear from Pronax. And Smith wants to catch him. Oh, Pronax gets it done. He's going to keep Fnatic in the running in this in this uh, train game here for the Face It League. 59, though, it is still very, very difficult. But Fnatic, they are somehow bringing themselves back into this. Yeah, no, that <laughs> can't really count for that. The second existence picks up three frags, you're thinking to yourself, well, that's it. Yeah, GG. That's that's the GG yeah. right there. And that's the GG. <laughs> but no, Pronax, man, stepping it up. And that's great to see when Pronax goes huge. It's always really fun to watch. Yeah, the only problem is that he's the guy leading the charge now and the <laughs> everyone else is falling behind. Oh no. It's that, oh no. Oh god, this the Deagles. Really happening. The CZs, the P250s, the pistols roaming into the site. 
JW now with his CZ is doing some legendary work as well. Couple kills coming in and just two really low players here. Flusher, last man standing, existence there with the Deeg. He will go down, but that's so much damage done by Titan in that round. That was a very effective pistol push. You can see the impact that that's had on the economy of Fnatic here. Look at it. They don't really have all the uh, nades that they would want in this round. Yeah, all of my stream crimson is being more or less completely bare. Well, okay, there we go. Okay. All of my finally spends the rest of his money, but... Well, I guess at this point it doesn't really matter if Fnatic loses a lot of money because they're not going to have one more round to, True to that. play off of if Titan win a round. So they're going to be fine and as well, Titan. Pretty decent buy screen when they get a little shocks on a, on a Tech-9, but they're going to push quickly inside. They know that Flush is all by himself here. And very, very fast entry here. Big rotation coming in, but Titan has set up the flank as well. Shox is going in with the Tech-9 from behind. Will even be required at this point. Looks like perhaps not because we've got a lot of players from Titan pushing up. Finally, RPK, the damage man, has been taken out, but this is the play. Shox goes in, he will take down JW on that lurk, and look at the presence he gives his team, just sitting there in connector. Fnatic know they have to worry about this flank, but they don't have the time to afford such worries, and the fire is going to take Pronax, uh, well, <laughs> Shox is going to do everything himself, taking down the last two players, and Titan will win 16-10. Now, and if we, if we look at this, Fnatic, what did they get on the first half? They got four rounds.